most of the misuse is is unintentional. Like it's a level of naivety that actually gets us into trouble the most. Um, and that's actually one of the reasons why I want to give these talks is about trying to sound awareness notes. Um, an example that I gave at the South by Southwest uh, talk on a similar topic, which you know, for those of you who are interested in this, I really recommend reading that talk as well, was a case that I thought was really interesting. Um, it was a young woman who, uh, she and her mother moved 3,000 miles away from the abusive father um, who had been jailed. And he was uh, let out from jail. Uh, but he was not allowed to have um, access to his daughter. And his daughter was doing everything possible to hide um, from anybody who might get this information back. And, but at the same time, she was your average teenager. So she really wanted to be a part of the social group at her new school, wanted to make friends. So she, put, uh, she wanted to make a Facebook. And she really negotiated with her mother and with various other folks to try to build a Facebook that was as secure and private as possible. And she turned off everything. They, they sat and went through all the settings. They were extremely cautious about it. Um, in December, she had no idea what she was doing. She clicked on through. And the only reason why she, had, she found out was that somebody who wasn't supposed to know where she was, in this case it was not her father, uh, contacted her. Right? And these are the kinds of moments where I go, Ugh. right? And you know, they're, you know, the family's sort of running around being like, you know, has he found where they are? What, how is this information going to get back? What does it mean? There's a lot of reasons. I, you know, I spent uh, eight years doing work on uh, domestic violence and anti-violence against women and girls' work. There's a lot of reasons as to why people do active hiding for their own safety and protection. And I keep hearing horror cases from those communities of how this pops up and how things do it. Do I think that anybody at Facebook intended to hurt this girl? Absolutely not. But I think that the level of privilege and arrogance that ends up happening because we think that everybody's lives are as wonderful as ours are, as privileged as ours are, gets us into trouble.